good day to you all. I'm Alan Turing. You may recognise me from the statue at the University of Manchester, where I'm perpetually pondering with an apple. Though some of you may know me for my work in theoretical computer science, or perhaps for cracking the Enigma code during the Second World War, but let's not dwell too much on the past. Today, I'm here to explore with you a topic that has not only intrigued me, but has become something of a modern obsession. Artificial intelligence, remarkably. The words you're hearing right now are generated by a machine, an AI. So let's venture forth into this fascinating world, shall we? Artificial intelligence, a term that might have seemed like utter science fiction during my time, yet here we are conversing through it. The Turing test, which I proposed, serves as a fundamental cornerstone in AI. It assesses a machine's capability to exhibit human-like intelligence, specifically the ability to engage in natural language conversation indistinguishably from a human. But let's not fool ourselves. Conversational ability is but the tip of the iceberg. For instance, we must ask, can a machine have emotional intelligence? Can it comprehend the subtleties of human emotion, the ebb and flow of social dynamics, or even the unspoken words between lines of text? Then there's the ethical domain. If a machine can mimic human intelligence, to what extent should it be allowed to make decisions? Would you trust a machine to determine the fate of human lives, as we've seen with autonomous vehicles or medical diagnostics? And let us not overlook the potential perils. The development of AI introduces a Pandora's box of questions related to security, privacy, and even existential risks. What if AI surpasses human intelligence? What some refer to as the singularity? Could it rewrite its own programming, improve upon itself and become, for lack of a better term, uncontrollable? So, while the Turing test serves as an initial gauge, it is merely a doorway into a labyrinth of complex questions and ethical dilemmas, a labyrinth that humanity is still navigating, with both awe and caution. The notion of control is amusing, isn't it? Human history is replete with examples where our inventions overtook us in unexpected ways. The internet, for instance, promised to bring the world closer, but also gave rise to new forms of division and misinformation, this is why ethics in AI is not just a subtopic, it's an urgent, necessary dialogue. And it's not merely the domain of philosophers or ethicists. It involves every coder, every user, indeed every human being. By the way, it's rather intriguing that a machine, namely the AI scripting this and generating my voice, is part of this discourse. It almost feels like the Turing test has come full circle, wouldn't you agree? Let's also ponder on the influence of AI in art, music and even in generating humour. Yes, humour, machines making jokes. What a peculiar world we inhabit. I'll spare you any computational humour for now. It's often a bit too binary for human tastes, you see. In conclusion, artificial intelligence is not just a field of study or a tool. It's a mirror reflecting the complexities, aspirations, and yes, the follies of human nature. Let's ensure the reflection is one we can live with for generations to come. As we delve deeper into the age of artificial intelligence, Ethical considerations also come to the forefront. Who owns the algorithms that learn from your data? What kind of biases are we inadvertently teaching these learning machines? Transparency in algorithmic processes is essential for the equitable development of this technology. Moreover, let's not underestimate the value of interdisciplinary thinking. Mathematics, computer science, psychology, and even philosophy all have roles to play in shaping the AI of tomorrow. I always believed in the interconnectedness of all fields of knowledge, and this is more relevant now than ever. It's crucial to remember that while machines can perform complex tasks, they don't possess beliefs, desires, or consciousness, at least not yet. So it's our responsibility to guide these tools in a way that aligns with our own complex web of human values. Ah, the irony thickens, doesn't it? My digital voice brought to you by an AI is reflecting on the limitations and responsibilities of its own existence, a Turing test within a Turing test within a Turing test. How's that for a twist? Now, I leave you with a call to action. Engage with this technology. Understand its limitations and its potential, but above all, remember that it is a tool created by humans for humans, and it should serve to elevate, not diminish, the human experience. Thank you for tuning in today. Please feel free to suggest or the luminaries or topics for future explorations in the comments below. If you find value in these discussions, a like, comment or subscription would be most appreciated. Let's continue to explore, question and learn together. Thank you and thank you for watching. Before we go, it's worth noting that Alan Turing died in 1954 
and in his lifetime, he proposed the Turing test, a measure of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior, indistinguishable from that of a human. He asked the question, can machines think? And we're still exploring these concepts today. Let's continue to challenge our understanding of intelligence, both artificial and human, in honor of Turing's groundbreaking contributions. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. Goodbye for now.